One day, Paddington parked his shopping basket on wheels outside the baker's while he bought his morning supply of buns. And when he came out again, he found to his surprise there was a large cardboard box inside it. There was a note pinned to the outside. It said, Your shopping basket on wheels is in such good condition, it shows you are just the kind of person we are looking for. You could be earning a hundred pounds a week. Wait here and I will tell you how. Paddington could hardly believe his eyes, let alone his good fortune. Ah, said a voice behind him. I'm glad to see you've accepted our offer of a vacuum cleaner, sir. A vacuum cleaner? exclaimed Paddington. That's right, sir. Why, a young gentleman like your good self, with drive and ambition, could make a fortune as one of our sales bears. <laughs> You'd clean up in no time at all. Mind you, this is a once-only offer. I should look snappy and start demonstrating it while you've got the chance. And don't go telling everyone, or they'll all want to have a go. The thing is, said Paddington, who shall I demonstrate it to? Bear! bellowed Mr. Curry. Why don't you watch where you're going? Look at the mess you've made. Don't worry, Mr. Curry, announced Paddington. I can clean that up with my new cleaner. I'm giving free demonstrations. Did you say free demonstrations? Can you do carpets? I can clean anything, Mr. Curry, said Paddington. I've just had it all explained to me. In that case, Bear, said Mr. Curry, come this way. I have a little job you can finish off for me. Paddington had never demonstrated a vacuum cleaner before, and as it was for Mr. Curry, he decided he would try and impress him by making as big a mess as possible first. What's going on, Bear? What's that mess? How dare you? Don't worry, Mr. Curry. It's all part of my demonstration. I'm just looking for your socket. My socket? My socket? I haven't got a socket. I haven't even got electricity. I'm on gas. Gas, Mr. Curry, repeated Paddington. Oh. All of which only goes to show, said Mrs. Brown, that bears should always look before they leap. And neighbours, who are forever trying to get something for nothing, deserve all that happens to them, agreed Mrs. Bird. I shall never, ever use a vacuum cleaner again, said Paddington. I shall always sweep the dust under the carpet. Like Mr. Brown does.